Hey guys, it's Damien here, and I was actually gonna do some test flying today, but it ended up snowing, which I can still fly, but I wanted to cover a question that someone gave me on YouTube. Not everybody on this channel might be flying RC helicopters, and when they saw this model, they wanted to see where they got the parts, which I will actually end up showing you in just a sec, but majority of the parts that I have 3D printed are replacement parts to a helicopter named Goose Sky S2. But if you wanted to completely fill in this helicopter with the remaining components that are left, it actually might not be worth doing that because the helicopter itself costs $350. And I actually did a quick calculation. The electronics themselves go about for $253. That's not including tax and shipping as well as the head components, the, the bearing blocks. So this helicopter, if you were to want to completely build it out with 3D components, the best thing I could possibly suggest is to first buy the aircraft and then if you wanted to replace the parts that might have been broken after a flight due to a crash, then that's when you would want to replace these parts. Hey guys, so I got my iPad here with me, so anything I talk about you'll be able to see because I'll be screen recording and sharing this with you guys. So here on Google, I searched up Goose Guy S2 because that's the model I reverse engineered for the parts. And the most popular website that usually you get most of your aircraft from is helidirect.com. There are multiple other sites that you could get this aircraft from but I'll be showing this aircraft to you with, from HeliDirect. So right off the bat, you could tell that the price of this aircraft is 350 bucks. As mentioned before, all the electronics put together are about $253, and then all the, the rest of the parts as far as the head assembly, the bearing blocks, and minor miscellaneous other linkages and whatnot, will end up costing you $88, which I think ended up going to about $341. And that's just a rough estimate. So you really are better off just purchasing this aircraft if you would want to 3D print your own parts for it. So let's quickly go to the parts section. Um, let's see here. There we go. Goose Guy, has two, uh, Goose Guy Parts is what you want to click on. And then from there, you want to hit on Goose Guy S2 because that is the model that we are working with. Let this load up here really quick. Okay, and the best way to approach this, to just quickly show you guys what you really, really need is you want to search up price high to low. So Right off the bat, the flight controller is $113. The main motor is $48. There are metal case servos for $35, but you don't need those. I have the $25 ones, the DS-15s. I'm, I'm assuming these $35 servos might be a better performance, but the ones I have are the $25 ones and they work just fine. Let's keep scrolling here. And as mentioned before, you would need a rotor holder set, which is $19. The Goose Guy S2 swash plate, the servo mount set. Here you have the brushless tail motor. And I mean, the, the prices are small, but they do eventually add up. You have the main rotor housing set. And what's really nice though, if you do purchase this aircraft, you do end up getting this nice packaging box. So if you were to go to the field and you don't want to damage your aircraft during the transportation or to the drive of, to go to the field, you have this nice box that protects your helicopter. And then you have the linkage rods, aluminum main plates, and so on and so forth. The, the tail boom here, three dollars and thirty cents for for each tail boom you have and then here are some parts that I've printed so the boom you could print the frames you could print 
one thing to mention is that when you do get this, when you purchase this aircraft, you do end up getting a battery. So if you were to build this from scratch, you would also need to purchase your own battery. If you don't have a charger, you would need to purchase a charger for that lithium polymer battery. Not only that, if you don't have a radio, you also need to purchase a radio. But there are kits for this aircraft that if, well here, you could actually purchase a radio separately or you could purchase it within the combo kit that they provide you with. Now, if I haven't mentioned to you guys earlier, the parts are available on printables and Thingiverse if you were to want to print your own parts. But that is mostly it. And what another thing I was going to mention to you guys, uh, I mean, so, Here's a uh, colored landing skids if you wanted landing skids. Uh, let's quickly see if there's anything else that we could. Uh, so here are the aluminum frame blocks for four bucks. You could print those out. But anyways, I got sidetracked. Um, so as far as buying this aircraft, if you don't want to purchase the full $350 price tag, which probably includes tax and ship. I'm sorry, it does not include tax and shipping. It probably adds on to the cost, so it might end up costing you $400. So there are websites out there as far as Facebook groups, as well as rcgroups.com, and I think there is also Helifreak, but there's multiple RC helicopter groups out there where you could actually purchase this helicopter for a much lower price. I haven't looked at what the used market is, but if you do end up buying a used, mar uh, used helicopter, you have to entrust that person that the aircraft is in good condition. And if it's not in good condition, there are certain parts that you need to replace. The aircraft itself is quite affordable to replace the components, so it's not too big of a deal. But if you wanna get into printing your own parts, that is one other suggestion or avenue that you could definitely take. But scrolling through, you have your anti-rotation bracket for $2.30, the chassis bracket for $2.30. Here's the tail slide panel, which I incorporated into your vertical stabilizer, so it's one part instead of two. Let's see, what else is there? Maybe that, that's about it, but, oh, uh, let's see. Okay, so let me scroll. There is a bar that you also have to... Let me see. Let's see if I could find it. Maybe I cannot. Or it hasn't loaded. But there is also a horizontal bar that you put into the tail boom that I also incorporated into the tail boom so that you wouldn't have to. Pro oh, here it is. So the tail boom inner mount for the vertical stabilizer that is already incorporated in the tail boom once you print it out. Let's see. But. If you can tell, a lot of these prices are not that expensive. But what's nice is the fact that printing these parts are about almost 100x less than what you're paying for. So I'm not discouraging you to purchase these parts because these parts are good parts. If you're trying to fly aggressively and have extremely reliable parts for a very uh, experienced pilot, these parts would probably be the better option. If you're more of a sport flyer, you're still trying to learn how to fly your aircraft, 3D printing your parts would be the best way to go. Because if you crash, the cost of printing your parts is a couple pennies. Uh, I think that the cheapest part is maybe, uh, actually it's the, the I think that the, the frame adapters and those are maybe one to two cents to print each. And then here you're paying for $4 for two of them. And another thing to mention that I have not mentioned yet is, are these uh, screw set. So the screw set comes with all the screws that you need for the aircraft, but once you do start printing out, I would highly recommend you get a self-tapping screw set, which I have shown in my previous videos. And that whole screw set costs you about 11 to 12 bucks on Amazon. I linked it in my other videos, I'll try to link it in this video as well. And it comes with 1,100 screws. And 
usually when you're working with a 200 size helicopter like this, whether you're out in the field or you're working at home, there will be a time where you will lose some of these screws and you just won't want to try to find it. But if you're limited on the screws, you're gonna spend maybe a good half hour or, or longer depending on where that screw went. So if you want a ton of screws and you wanna print out your parts, that's another way to go. And I think that that's pretty much it. If, if you guys have any other questions, please let me know, comment down below. I, I love giving you guys this information and educate you guys a little more on what I'm doing, what's provided there for you. Later, uh, sometime in the future, I'll, I'll make a video on the settings I'm, uh, I'm using for my slicer to print out the parts, but this video just wanted to go over the parts that you would need to complete it so you're better off buying the helicopter and then uh, replacing the parts for when you need them. If you like this video, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. I do appreciate it and I'll catch you guys in the next one.